came out without my tripod, so I'm sorry about this. I'm just holding it. If it's bumpy, I'm sorry. But hello there. Good morning, good evening. It's another really hot day here in England. We're having a little bit of a heat wave at the moment, which is crazy. It's actually hotter here than in Morocco at the moment, which it is just madness. But anyway, the other day I placed a vintage order, no surprise, and I get my vintage orders shipped to my local co-op because it saves like a little bit on postage, not too much, but a little bit. So yeah, because it's a nice day, I thought I'd go walk and collect it. Usually you just like do the unboxings with me, but I thought since it's a nice day, we'll go get it together. Okay, so parcel collected. It's so easy to go. If you do vintage, I recommend doing a parcel pickup point. It saves you a little bit of postage. And it does say on Vinted how much you save on fuel emissions. So obviously stops the driver from having to drive around the estate. So yeah, got the parcel and go home and open it up. I'm so excited for the ones I've got this time. So as I said, I'm so, I feel like I say this every time. I have a Vinted parcel to unbox, but I'm so excited about these. We have got three, technically four plushies in here. And you'll understand them. <laughs> you can tell it's hot in the UK at the moment by the fact that I have no makeup on. I don't like filming without makeup on, but I'm sorry, it is just too hot right now. And also the fact that I look like an egg because my hair is up in a claw clip. It is hot, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> so they're all just in this bag, which is quite how often a lot of people send slushies. But what I do like is the seller has wrapped them individually in bubble wrap. I have a little bit of protection. So we'll start off with this guy. And I have a little bit of a funny story about like why. So one, I got him because I haven't already got him in my collection. But two, I, something happened like, I think last year. I was like, okay, he'll be perfect. His tag's in a protective case. I've never seen that before. So before, I think you just saw a little bit of him. Before we get into talking about him, I just, so it was last year, last November, I changed my Halloween Winnie the Pooh duvet to a Christmas Winnie the Pooh duvet on November 1st. I'm not a big Halloween fan, but I'm all for seasonal things and cute things and my Winnie the Pooh duvet is cute so I have Winnie the Pooh Halloween duvet. But then as soon as Halloween's over I was switching straight into Christmas mode and I did a video, like you know a TikTok reel short kind of video of me doing a transition of the bedding and I posted it, I think it was on my YouTube shorts where this event happened, posted it on my shorts, everyone like enjoyed it, a nice little transition. But then I started to get some people unhappy with me because I was posting Christmas stuff before Thanksgiving. To which I had to point out to them, I am British, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving here. And even after I like, replied to their comment saying, I'm British, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving here, so after Halloween, our next thing is Christmas, they still weren't happy with the fact that I was doing Christmassy things before Thanksgiving, despite the fact that I am British. Yeah, they weren't happy with me. <laughs> so I got a Thanksgiving poo. So his actual tag is Pilgrim Poo. So this year, I can post about Thanksgiving and keep everyone happy, but I'll still have my Christmas duvet on because it's Christmas. So yeah, look at him. His hat is like, can you hear that? It's like solid. <laughs> yeah, he's got his little hat and then his little outfit. I don't know much about Thanksgiving. I don't know much about pilgrims, but he's cool. And look what I was saying. So he's got his Disney store tag and everything but it's in a plastic protective case i have never seen that before with these plushies you know how i am about my tags on my winnie the poos I, I want more of these now that is a cool protective thing and usually with these they i, I was just reading the label there the pricing is entirely in canadian dollars and us dollars so as i would have guessed with him being a pilgrim poo he was more than likely just a us exclusive but he's cute <laughs> then moving on to this one when i told my mum i had ordered she's excited to, to see this one and i'm excited i do like the fact that they've packaged it up in bubble wrap so i've been calling him jockey poo but on his little white tag where it's got his official name it's grand national poo which makes sense same difference really and he has got his little disney store tag and this was whereas the Pilgrim Poo was obviously a US release. This one, obviously Grand National, is a British horse race. So as you could guess, 
he was like a British release because his prices are in pounds and euros. But how cool is he? So he's riding his little like hobby horse. He's got the little wheels down the bottom. And then he's got his horse racing jacket on and his helmet. He is so much cooler than he looked in the picture. Look, I am obsessed with him. There is a few in my area, a few different race courses. So I think I'll have to go on like a non-race day and try and get a picture of him like in front of the racetrack. That'd look really cool. So yeah, we got Grand National Foo. And then the final one, which is how I said it's like three technically four plushies because it's like a two in one special. So this isn't like my usual like Poo in costumes. It's Poo and Piglet, but there's just something about this plush that made me feel like I had to get it. They've both got tags on them. The Poo has got the Disney Store tag, and on the back it says Poo Friendship Mini Beanbag Set, and they've got the price ripped off. And then Piglet's one. This is obviously from a collection that they did because that's the tag on Piglet's and it's got all of them and it says celebrating the poo meaning of friendship poo friendship day so i'm guessing poo friendship day was a collection they did and this was just a plushie from it but what made me really drawn to getting it so as you can see poo and piglet are both holding a little heart and on the heart it says best friends 1999 which is my birth year i was born october 1999 so i just felt it was like really cute and special because it's poo and piglet and it had my birth year on it so I just felt like I had to get it. How cute. So yeah, it's not my usual like poo and costumes sort of one, but I just thought it was very perfect for me without having best friends, poo and piglet and my birth year. I just had to get it. So yeah, I got these all from the same seller on Vinted and I did it as a bundle offer. Sometimes sellers will do bundle offers with a discount because you're buying multiple. This one didn't, but because I was buying multiple, they did do reduced shipping so because obviously it was all coming in one package let me see if i can go on my vintage and see how much they were i think for the lot of them and postage it came to 15 pound 55 i think altogether and with vintage they do have buyer protection fees as well so with all of that it came to 15 55 i think can i see how much they were individually Pilgrim Poo was £3, which is pretty average price, but I'm still really happy with that. Jockey Poo was a little bit more expensive, coming in at £5. This is £3 to £5, it's pretty much the average for these size style plushies, I find. But obviously, the seller just priced him up a bit more expensive than Pilgrim Poo because he is a little bit bigger with like having the horse and everything. And then how much was the friendship beanies? Pooh and Piglet friendship beanies were £4. But yeah, I think that's all, they're all really fairly priced and I'm really happy with the finds. And yeah, another successful vintage hunt. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please leave a comment, let me know which one of these was your favourite. If you enjoyed this video, please leave pop the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more from what do click subscribe down below and while you're down there don't forget to ding the notification bell i mean you might as well you are already down there and i'll see you guys real soon bye